What's your first impression? Is it's a lot of a lot of sand. A lot of sand. Like like a like a desert. Mm-hmm. Very good. Tell me more. There's rocks. Mm-hmm. Um little 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 greenery like cactus. And the cactus, mm-hmm. Look around you. What else do you see? I just see desert. Very good. So now I want you to focus in on yourself as you're looking out at this place. Look down at your feet. See if you can see. Imagine what your feet look like there. What can you imagine your feet to be like? Some kind of like amphibian mm -hmm. feet, like kind of like a frog or something. Mm -hmm. Amphibian feet, very good. Do you feel that these amphibian feet are large or small? Small. Small, very good. Do you feel that you are male or female? I'm a, I don't think I'm a male. Male, okay. So let's try to see the rest of the body and tell me what you look like. I'm like some kind of some kind of toad, a, a frog. Toad, a frog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What else do you feel? I think I'm, I'm just trying to get through mm -hmm. the desert. Mm-hmm. How does it feel? A tad bit slow. Mm-hmm. Because I don't know when I'm actually going to get out of here. Mm-hmm. But um. Do you feel like you are lost in this place, or is it familiar to you? I live here. You live here. Mm -hmm. How do you feel there? What emotions are you getting from, from yourself? I just feel okay, like I'm just here. Mm -hmm. I'm in my home. You're in your home. Very good. Very good. So I want you now to... Close that scene and see yourself going to the place where you actually live. Tell me where you are. What does your home look like? It's um like a small like a small hole. Mm hmm. Um, just enough space where I can fit. Mm hmm. And I just it's like uh, kind of like a little small tiny cave, and mm -hmm. I can just look out. Mm -hmm. Um, just enough space for me to just look at because I'm 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 like a big, I'm a small toad, but I take up a lot. I take up a lot of space inside of the. Um, I take up a lot of space inside of the little barrel that I live in. Okay, very good. Is there anybody else there with you, or are you by yourself? I'm by myself. It's just it's, there's a cactus tree right next to where I am, but mm -hmm. I'm by myself. And what do you feel that you eat? When you're out there, insects, wherever I can find. Mm -hmm. um, mainly just different insects. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I want you to close that scene now. Close that scene and let's go forward to another significant scene in that same lifetime. Move forward and tell me where you are. What's happening? I'm in the same spot. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't move. Mm -hmm. Not today. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that this is where you spend most of your time? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens if this is a significant time in your life. There, let's see what happens next. Imagine that a, a car pulls up, mm -hmm. like a jeep. Okay. Do you see a jeep? Yeah, I just, I can see it from my barrel and so I just see like the car like kind of pulled up next to it. Mm -hmm. It's black. It's a black jeep. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened. Take me through it. What's happening? Someone gets out. Mm -hmm. 
but it's like I'm guessing maybe this person might be lost mm -hmm. because they I don't think they know I'm there mm -hmm. um and it, they're just walking out into the desert mm -hmm. I don't it's the the person that looked um just like you know in boots mm -hmm. um like in a regular like a like an army uniform or something mm -hmm. so let's see what happens now i want you to fast forward through that scene and tell me what's significant about this the person never came back they just left the car and just went into the desert it, it's nighttime mm -hmm. they never came back how does that affect you i'm kind of just wondering where the person went Mm-hmm. But let's find out what happened to that person. You have you're able to connect now. Okay. I want you to follow that person and see what happened to him. Tell me what you see. person just stopped it's nighttime and it's just meant to just stop in the middle of the desert mm -hmm. what happened to him then just then the person might have came out to be by himself mm -hmm. I kind of have a sense that he, I have a sense like he's gonna die but I just feel like he came out to the desert just to escape everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What feelings are you getting from him? You should connect with him and see what feelings you're getting from him. I get a sense that he might be a little bit sad. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like this man is connected to you at all? A little bit. I'm trying to connect connect everything, but I just feel like he's sad. Okay, all right. No, uh, I mean, he, he looks like, um, I don't know, why would he come out here to the desert? Mm -hmm. I can't figure that out, why, why he would just come out here. Mm-hmm. You know, there's nothing out here. There's nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's fast forward and see what happens next in your lifetime. I want you to close that scene. And now let's go forward to another time in your lifetime when something important is happening. Imagine a, a baby. Mm -hmm. But it's not me. I'm, I'm, I'm holding the baby like I'm taking care of it. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at yourself. And tell me what you look like now. Um, I'm, I'm white. Mm -hmm. I'm a Caucasian male. Mm -hmm. And I'm wearing a white robe. Like some, like some white, it's white clothing. Mm -hmm. And I'm holding a baby. Tell me more. Look around you. Where are you? It's a, it's like, the whole place is like, it's, you know, it's, it's fun. It's like a, like kind of like a palace, but everything's white. I'm inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything's white. And you say you're a white male. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What do you look like? What else do you look like? Blonde hair. Mm -hmm. Blonde short hair. How old do you feel? I, I feel older, like in my 30s. Mm -hmm. Early 30s. Mm -hmm. What do you do at this place? Why are you holding this baby? This baby, I think, maybe my son. Mm -hmm. he, he's, he's he's definitely my son. He's he's still kind of small, so he's still kind of a an infant. Mm -hmm. I'm still kind of an infant, and he's a, he got his eyes closed. So, mm -hmm. but um, tell me more about this place where you are. 
Everyone's wearing white clothing. Women are wearing white gowns. The men are wearing white suits. Mm-hmm. It's peaceful here. It's, mm-hmm. it's nice. Mm-hmm. I have a family, and I think I, I'm imagining a woman, a woman in a white gown. Mm-hmm. What does she look like? She has long. She has like blonde hair, long blonde hair, but she has it like kind of tied, like tied up into a bun. Mm-hmm. And she's approaching me, and she just took the baby, and she's smiling at me. Mm-hmm. And we're happy here. So let's find out where it is that you are. I want you to connect deep within. Let's find out where you are. Where is this place? Uh, What's the trust the first impression? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? It's a place that never existed here on Earth. Mm-hmm. Where is this place? Narska. Where is it? Narska. Narska? Yeah. That's the name that comes to you? Yes, yeah, the first name that comes to you. All right. All right. So let's find out what happens in this lifetime. I want you now to move forward to another important day when something very significant is happening to you. I'm, I'm in a room, a, like a big like kind of council room, mm-hmm. with a lot of, um, lot of people. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people. What are you doing there? Observing. Mm-hmm. Making sure everything's okay. Mm-hmm. What is your, your position there? I think a guard. That's the first thing that comes to me, a guard. Mm-hmm. Just looking over everything, watching over. Mm-hmm. I, I, it's, it's, I feel like it's a council, some kind of council. Mm-hmm. You say there's a lot of people there. Yeah, it's like it's like I said, the whole place is white. So, mm-hmm. you know, everybody's wearing white. The furniture is white. Um, there's windows. Um, there is um, there's a someone sitting on a throne. Mm-hmm. It kind of looks like the Pope. Mm-hmm. Um, what was I say? So let's find out what's happening in this place. I want you to connect with everyone there. Let's see what what it is that you you're doing there. What's happening in this place? Thinking of ways that we can help. Mm-hmm. Help the world around us. Mm-hmm. Help, help our young as they grow. Yes. I think, I think we mostly got that part down. Um, it's just uh, like other places we can go to to help. We just want to help. Mm-hmm. Um, this, this, Narska that I live in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been here majority of my life, mm-hmm. and I've um, grew up in this learning. Well, grew up as a guard, but being around these people, and I have love for all the people. Do you feel that you've gotten some wisdom from them by being there? Yes, it's um. It's the el- the elder the elders. Mm-hmm. The elders. Mm-hmm. They really care. Uh, they really want their people to be knowledgeable and want our want the people to want want to help and be good and be true. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that you are? Yes. Mm-hmm. In this life, I I am. All right. Very good. So let's move forward now. Fast forward to another significant time in that lifetime. 
What's happening? I'm walking down the hall, mm-hmm. like a giant, giant hallway. Like walking into like in a palace hallway or something. Mm-hmm. Are you carrying anything? No, just walking down the hall. Mm -hmm. Don't know where I'm going. All right, let's see where you go. Take me there. Walk into a room. Mm -hmm. Um, has a piano. Um, just like it, this is like kind of like I don't know if I don't know if it's like a library, but there's a bathtub in here. Mm-hmm. And um, piano. I think I'm just coming in here just to just to relax. All right. So let's see. How is it that you relax in this place? Take a bath. You take a bath. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just. Unwinding and mm-hmm. relaxing. Yeah. Is this room a large room or a small room? It's like it's like a, like a small office. Okay. Mm-hmm. And when you say take a bath, is there an actual bathtub there? Yeah, it's like it's it's white. It's like a white marble bathtub. It's just mm-hmm. just in like on the side of the room. Okay. And then across from the room, on that side, like kind of, there's a piano, mm-hmm. and the bookshelves are filled with so many books. Mm-hmm. What kind of books are there? Different books about the world we live in and our history. Mm-hmm. Can you see any titles of those books? Do they have titles on them, or are they without titles? No titles. No. What are they bound in? I like how regular books are. Just um, they're hardcover. Mm-hmm. Some are a little bit heavier than others. Mm-hmm. So let's see what happens next. First time. What is it? My my wife. She's. Stabbed herself. Your wife stabbed herself. I see her in the white gown. She's, I, was, I just can see her doing it, and she just falls to the floor. Mm-hmm. And I see the blood and the knife just like kind of like on the bottom of her torso. Mm-hmm. Where is she? Where are you? We're at home, but I don't know why she did it. I don't know what happened. So I want you now to connect with your feelings and tell me. How this is affecting you? It's me. I don't. It's like I don't know how to feel. Mm-hmm. It's like I don't know to be ups to be sad or angry. I don't know how to feel. It's like I'm in shock. Mm-hmm. So let's see what happens after this. I want you to connect with your feelings. What are the thoughts going through your your mind as you're watching this? It's why? Mm-hmm. What? Why? Why would she just do that to herself? Have a perfect, you have a good life. Mm-hmm. So let's see what happens after this. I just, we had a funeral. Mm-hmm. Everything's white, like I described, and the casket is white. Gee, I, I, it's not an open casket; it's closed. But mm-hmm. I know, but I know she's in there. Mm-hmm. Who else is with you? Other um, people of this city. Mm-hmm. And the leader, our, um, our, our, I want to say our priest. Mm-hmm. He's, um, I can't hear him, but I can see him. He's saying a few words. Mm-hmm. And then 
it's like we're in this like giant auditorium and it's white and we're all standing around the casket. What feelings are going around in this auditorium? Upset. Mm -hmm. and people want to know why and what happened. Mm -hmm. And um, just putting her in the ground. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not the ground. It's just like a... I don't know how to explain it, like a little um, box that's big, a little like kind of like a room they made in the bottom of the tile. Mm -hmm. That's kind of, it's big enough to put the, the casket in. Mm -hmm. The panels put the casket in. And the floor, the floor is like closing like automatically closing mm -hmm. but it's isn't it's moving from the top down mm -hmm. so maybe like kind of feels like i'm it, this place i live in is kind of nice because it's kind of futuristic just a little bit mm -hmm. before closed by it's on its own all right so close that scene now let's move ahead Move to where you're older. Let's see what's happening with your life now. Where are you and what are you doing? I'm an old man. I'm just sitting mm -hmm. in a chair and back in the room where that I took a bath in. Mm -hmm. I'm old. I've got. I have gray hair. Mm -hmm. I'm just. I'm sitting in a chair and I'm drinking something. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that like you have any family? I feel like that's my only family. I think it was just me, her, and my son. Mm -hmm. How old is your son now? Looks like he's maybe 18, mm -hmm. 17. Mm -hmm. He has the blonde hair and he looks like me. Mm -hmm. But a younger version. Yes. Well, uh, he walks in. I'm just, I'm just old. I'm just an old man. Mm -hmm. I think he, I think he, I think he knows it's, it's my time. All right. So let's go to the last moment of your life there. I want you to go to that time right before your transition and tell me where you are. I'm in a um, casket mm -hmm. with the, the top half is open. Mm -hmm. Are you alive there? I'm about to die. Mm -hmm. Who's there with you? My son. My son. What are you thinking about as you're lying there in that casket? I was just thinking that I want him to not be sad. Mm -hmm. I'll just grow up and live, live his life. Mm -hmm. All right, take your last breath. And as you transition out of that body, tell me where it happens to your, to your soul. I just float up. I'm just looking at myself from above. Mm -hmm. And as you're looking at it, I want you to think about your life. Every life has a mission and a purpose. What do you feel that your life was all about? What did you have to learn there? <sighs> Trust your impression. What comes to mind that your mission was there? Trust. Mm -hmm. Trust. Trust. Mm -hmm. And loyalty. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you did that? You had a good life there? Well, so far what I had to learn was the loyalty and trust. Mm -hmm. What lessons did you learn? Being, um, being loyal to a priest. I, was, I think I spent most of my life as a guard. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. As a guard. Yeah. Okay. So float away from that body now. Float away and tell me what happens next. Where do you go? And who do you see? I see a, a girl. Mm-hmm. But, um... She's... She's... She's from a tribe, like the clothes she's wearing. Mm-hmm. It's like, I want to say she kind of looks Indian. Mm-hmm. Like the skin color. Yes. Just black hair. Are you observing this girl? Yeah, I'm looking at her. Mm-hmm. Do you have a body where you are? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Describe yourself. Look down at your feet. I'm female. Mm-hmm. You're a female? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you look like? Kind of long, kind of long hair, shoulder length. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about yourself. It's like wearing like kind of, it's like kind of, kind of torn, tattered clothes, mm-hmm. but it's how we make our clothes look. Okay. It's just how our clothes look. Mm-hmm. What are they made out of? Um... Like a fine, like a fine, like clothing material. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know what it's made from. But, you know, it just covers the important parts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell me what you're doing there. Who was this other girl with you? Sister. Mm hmm. Tell me more about your life. It's like we live in some. We live in the forest. You live in the forest. Yeah, we made a lot of room for our tribe to live in. Mm-hmm. So let's go see where you live. Hmm. It's a place in the middle. Mm-hmm. The forest. What does it look like? There, are, there are huts. Like everything is handmade. Mm-hmm. There are huts. Trees surround us to keep us safe. There's fire. We have fire. And, um... Do you see other people? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's going on. Is everybody has their own individual huts? Because we're all a family. It's like we're just, we're all a family. Mm -hmm. And we just look out for each other, take care of each other. And, um... I think the males are out hunting right now. Mm-hmm. There are some some males still here, but more there's some that I have jobs for hunting and providing mm-hmm. for the tribe. So let's see what it is that you do in this tribe. I want you to see yourself at your normal labor. What you, what you do? I sew. You sew. I make make clothes. Mm-hmm. Make the clothing for the tribe. Mm-hmm. So now that you're seeing yourself making clothing, how do you make this clothing? We have we we have string that we sew. Mm-hmm. We get the the sharp part from um, from a plant, mm-hmm. and we tie a string like a little a little thin string. Mm-hmm. We tie it onto it. Nice and tight. Mm-hmm. And we use that and we sew. Mm-hmm. And basically we use animal skins. Animal skins. Yeah. So is that what you're wearing? Yep. Mm-hmm. I think it's the skin came from some kind of a boar. A boar. Okay. Yep. It's brown. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very good. Do you see anything else in that scene that's significant? That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, just the trees are super tall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't reach all the way almost up to the sky. Mm-hmm. Like, I think the nature around here grows really well. Mm. Very good. So I want you to close that scene now. And let's go to a scene where you're eating a meal there. 
we're all standing on well, well the the let me see I just imagine myself sitting well everyone's still at their individual huts but mm -hmm. I'm sitting in front of my hut and I'm eating mm -hmm. I think it was a board that they caught mm -hmm. I'm eating I'm eating it and we make sure that the food is prepared the meat is really cooked over the fire really good mm -hmm. make our own seasonings now, when you say that everyone has an individual hut, are these very small huts? Well, they're they're medium size, mm -hmm. not to fit you and your family. Okay. But they're medium size. They're made from um, just nature. Very good. It's nature, and mm -hmm. we take care. Of nature houses us. Mm -hmm. Do you all cook together? We have some who cook. Mm -hmm. I cook. Mm -hmm. Um, we have some who don't. All right, so let's close that scene now. Close it and let's move forward. Something has happened. Something very important has happened. Where are you? I'm in a, I'm in a tribe in our village. It's nighttime. Mm -hmm. Having a celebration. What's happening? Uh, I see everyone. Uh, some people in the tribe dancing. Mm -hmm. It's having a good time. Mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the significance of the celebration? Just enjoying, just being happy that we have life and mm -hmm. that we're all, we're at peace, we're happy mm -hmm. with what's going on, that the things that, that the nature provides for us. Mm -hmm. Is there any music or singing? Or just dancing? It's dancing and some shouting, but I guess that's the part of entertainment. Mm -hmm. Very good. Just a happy, happy, a strong appreciation for what life gave gave us. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? In my early 30s. Early 30s. And do you have a family of your own? Just me and my sister and mm -hmm. I think um, my husband. Mm -hmm. So you're married? Yeah, I'm married. Mm -hmm. Does your sister live with you? Yeah, she does. Okay. Do you have any children? No. Okay. How does that feel to you? I'm okay with it. I mean, we all don't have kids, but we all think of, it's okay because we all think of each other as one big family. Mm-hmm. It's okay. okay. We have a little we have children running around, so you know, it's like I have smaller siblings mm -hmm. to work to worry about very good all right close that scene and now let's move ahead let's find out what the significance of this lifetime was let's move forward so that you can find out what this is all about where are you in the forest mm -hmm. is it daytime or nighttime it's there? daytime mm -hmm. what's happening I'm leaving the camp, mm -hmm. the village. Why are you leaving? I guess I feel like I want to just adventure and see what I can do mm -hmm. on my own. I've been living in the village for a really long time and never left. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're abandoning your family? No, I think they, they understand. Mm -hmm. I want to leave and explore and see what I can do right. on my own. I'm going to come back one day, just not now. All right, so let's see where you go. I want you to move forward to see where it is that you go. I reached, it's like I reached the shores, mm -hmm. but half of some of but it's like kind of like Frozen, uh, kind of frozen region. It's a lot of snow. Mm -hmm. Falling snow is white snow. And I'm, I'm in the forest part, just looking. How does that feel to be in that area? It's a new discovery for me. Mm -hmm. I never been this far away from the camp. 
go for the village. Let's see what happens. Hi, Explorer. I'm walking on the frozen water. Walking on the frozen water. Like, I can see for miles, there's all frozen. Mm-hmm. Well, there's some snow piles. How does that feel? It feels like different for mm-hmm. me because, like I said, I never walked this far away from the village. Mm-hmm. Well, I feel like I have to be careful. Mm-hmm. Cause I don't want to fall in. See what happens. I'm still walking out on the ice. Like I'm expecting to find something. Mm-hmm. But I feel like there's nothing out here. I'm just exploring. Seeing where this frozen water leads to. Alright. So you can fast forward and see where it goes. Where does it lead? Nowhere. I fell in. You fell in? Can't find my way out. I'm trapped. Mm hmm. Are you in the water? Yeah, it's really cold. Mm hmm. What are you thinking about as you're in that water? I'm gonna die. Mm hmm. Never see my family again. Mm-hmm. I'll never go back to the village. They'll even know. They won't know what happened to me. Mm-hmm. Like you could see yourself as an observer now. Watch what happens next. You don't have to feel it. That's the end of my life. Mm-hmm. So what happens to your spirit as you leave? I'm just hurrying over the ice, just floating in here, like levitating, just looking down at the ice, mm-hmm. looking at the spot where I died at, because the ice broke, but I guess when I went under, it kind of swept me to like another part mm-hmm. a little bit. And then when I tried to go up for air, I couldn't get through the hard ice. Mm-hmm. So what happens now, now that you're feeling like, like that? What do you feel? Kind of disappointed. Mm-hmm. I wanted to explore and see what was, what, what was in this world. Mm-hmm. So as you look at that life, what do you think the mission was in that lifetime? What were you supposed to be doing? Curiosity. Mm-hmm. And do you feel that you fulfilled that? Yeah, it got me dead. Mm-hmm. What lessons did you learn from it? Play it safe. Play it safe. Be safe. Be careful next time. Mm Mm-hmm. So what happens after this? Where do you go? Do you feel that you go to the light or that you stay around? I stick around. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm still around for Mm -hmm. There's nothing left like I, I don't know where to go. Mm-hmm. So tell me what happens to you. Do you go anywhere? Mm-hmm. When did you find Alex? Alex, um, uh, just a life, I thought, man, I've been interested just living this kind of life. Mm-hmm. How old was he when you found him? He 
He was a little bit older, around eight. Mm -hmm. What was happening in his life that allowed you to attach to him? You, I can see his memories. Mm -hmm. Tell me about them. He was a kid, him and his sister. Mm -hmm. And his friends he used to play in the front yard. Mm -hmm. It looked like they were having fun. He didn't have a friend? Looks like he was having fun. Oh, he was having fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to have fun too? Yeah, I didn't talk to him or anything. It's just being around him. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I can see myself floating, like hovering up, hovering around him. Mm -hmm. I could picture his house, his, his grandfather's house. Mm -hmm. I can see his sister and his friends. Mm -hmm. We're like having fun playing games. I didn't see. So did he invite you to come to be with him? No, I just came to him. Mm -hmm. I was curious. Mm -hmm. Where did you attach to him? I just, I just like being around him. Mm -hmm. Are you influencing him? Influencing. Do you do anything to change his thoughts? Make him afraid. I think, I think keeping him, I don't want him to leave. You don't want him to leave? No. Mm -hmm. He's curious about, he's curious about what he can accomplish mm -hmm. and do on his own. Mm -hmm. But I don't want him to leave. I like being around him. Mm-hmm. Now, when you say you don't want him to leave, what do you mean by that? I want him to be careful. Mm -hmm. The world isn't always easy. Mm -hmm. So are you holding him back from being successful? Are you sabotaging his success? I might be. Maybe because I, I like him so much, I want him to leave. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I feel bad mm -hmm. because he should have already done so much already mm -hmm. uh, experienced a lot mm -hmm. what did they call you in that lifetime what was your name nana what is it nana nana mm -hmm. nana mm -hmm. are you attached to any part of his body Are you just hanging around him? I'm just hanging around him. Mm -hmm. I'm hanging around him for a long time. Have you been in his room? Yeah. Does he see you? No. Does he feel you? He feels sometimes, but I don't think he knows it's me. Mm -hmm. I don't think he can really just tell the difference mm -hmm. with the with the feelings he may get. Mm -hmm. Little like it's like little waves of of energy that he'll feel. Mm -hmm. And that's you? Yeah, it's him around, just hanging around. Mm -hmm. Nana, I want you to look at his life and see if he was in your life in another lifetime. Was he family or a friend? He was my husband. He was your husband. Mm -hmm. He was a provider. He was your provider. Yeah, he would go and hunt and come back to me. Mm-hmm. Is that why you're hanging around him then? Yeah. But Alex is not your husband in this lifetime, is he? Not this lifetime. Mm-hmm. Do you think that you're you're being of service to him by holding him back and not allowing him to be successful? I wasn't trying to hurt him. I know you weren't trying to hurt him. But do you see how you've been holding him back like an anchor? No. You were so disappointed at the way that you died. You wanted to be an explorer and disappointed your family by never coming back. And now you're not letting him progress. Do you think that's fair? Everyone has free will. You've been holding him back since he was a little boy. 
My husband's gone. Mm-hmm. I but want I want to be with him. I know you want to be with him, but you can be with him when you go back to the light, because you're just following one aspect of him in this lifetime. Your husband is also in another place. God, can I be with him? Mm hmm Would you like to see where he is now? I want to be where I want to go to him. All right. I want you to just go up to the light, Nana. Just go up to the top of his head right here and go to the light. And I want you to see if you find your husband there. Can you see your husband there? I had a little bit of trouble. Mm-hmm. You think you're a little afraid? No, it's, it's, I don't know how to navigate. All right. I'm going to ask my angels to help you. I'm calling in my angels with the light. I want them to accompany you. I want you to feel Nana. Feel them all around you, encircling you. Do you feel them now? They're coming around you. You'll feel their love. And I'm going to ask my Archangel Michael to come in and help you. I want you to take you by the hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to leave yet, though. Okay. I just want you to go up and see if you can find your husband there and your family. See if you see your sister there. They've been waiting a long time. They're just standing in a light. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't really make out their face a little bit, but it's like it? a blinding light that mm -hmm. they're standing in front of. Mm -hmm. They're there waiting for you, right? Yeah. All right, but before you go, I want you to come over here and I want you to release all of that weight that you have made. I help you with this, Nana, today. Before you go, it's holding you back. Would you allow me to help you today? Yes. All right, I'm going to put my hand on your chest, Nana. And I want you to give me all of those feelings that you have been holding you back. All of that sadness from not being able to come back, not being able to find your husband again. Give me all of that. Tell me when I have all of it. It's a lie. Mm hmm we're going to send that right up to the universe. Feel it coming out. As it comes out, you feel yourself getting lighter and lighter as you release all of that from so much so long ago. Tell me when you have it all. Yes, you got it. Very good. I'm going to take that and send it to the universe for healing. Now, Nana, there's a very big space in you now from all of that darkness that you had inside of you. What would you like to fill that with now? Happiness. Let's fill that with happiness. We're going to put all that happiness in. I'm going to touch your forehead so we could seal it in there. What else would you like to put in there? Let's put lots of love in there. Lots of love. What else would you like to put in there? Just peace. Let's put lots of peace in there. Very good. Now, Nana, can you forgive yourself for taking off on that adventure and not being able to come back? Yeah. It was just a mistake, wasn't it? Yeah, I just I just wanted to see the world. And you saw quite a bit of it, didn't you? And we all have to go sometime. Yeah. And you saw it, that you left in a time where you saw such beauty. Can you appreciate that now? Yeah. Would you like to ask Alex for forgiveness for doing all of these things to him all of this time and holding him back? Yeah. Go ahead and tell him. I'm sorry, Alex. I just wanted that love again. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean I didn't mean to hold you back. Mm -hmm. My time is gone, and your time is started. Mm -hmm. Alex, what would you like to tell Nana? 
It's, mm. it's okay. I understand why mm. she did it. Do you forgive her for that? Of course. Very I forgive good. her. Very good. So, Nana, before you go, I know that you've been influencing Alex for a long time. I want you to look inside his body and see if you've left anything inside of him. If you've left anything attached to him. You got everything. Very good. Very good. So, Nana, I want you to go ahead, go up through the top of his forehead here. I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to accompany you all the way to the light to see your family again. You're going to go back home and tell me when you're there. I'm taking my husband's hand. We're all mm -hmm. holy hands. Mm -hmm. Holy hands. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nana. May the light of the universe accompany you always. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. May I speak with Alex's higher self, please? Do I have permission to speak with him? Yes. Thank you. I know you could have shown Alex many different lifetimes today. Why did you show him the one of the frog? Because he can't just sit still anymore. He has to start making moves. Mm -hmm. He has to, has to move. He can't just get used to just one routine all the time. Mm -hmm. Frogs left. He would leave his barrel. Food days just to find food. Mm -hmm. It will come back and stay in the same spot. Mm -hmm. It's not healthy. Not healthy. What was the story behind the man with the jeep? Isolation. Isolation. He wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. He wasn't happy. Did that affect Alex as a frog by seeing that? Maybe. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Why did you show him the one of that that guard? I show him the loyalty to being loyal, mm -hmm. the loyalty that he has for his friends mm -hmm. and his family. Mm -hmm. And this place where he was, this place that he called Narska. Yes. Where is this place? It doesn't doesn't exist in the universe. Ah. Okay. And it's, it's, it's somewhere else, Dimen another different dimension. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist here. So it's not on Earth? Nope. It's on like a different planet? A different planet in a different dimension. Okay, all right. And what was the story about his wife killing herself? It's still. It seemed very sad, and these yeah. people seem to be very concerned. Mm-hmm. Because there were places, mm -hmm. that place, everybody lived together and was family. Mm hmm Thought of each other as family. Mm-hmm. His was, his wife, she she wasn't happy. She wanted out. Mm-hmm. Was that wife in this his lifetime now? Does he know her now? Or planning to know? No, uh, maybe he'll meet her later. Okay, very good. But no one he's met or knows in his life currently. Okay. I think she she's she's looking for him too. Very good. Is that his twin flame? She may be. Okay. She she knows that she left early. She knows she left early. She shouldn't have. She regretted that. She shouldn't have did that. Mm -hmm. So maybe she she owes him something now. Yeah. <laughs> when the time comes, okay. yeah, time will come, and they will meet each other. But until then, he, he Alex has to work on himself more. Okay. What about his son in that lifetime? Is is he someone that's going to be in this lifetime? 
Maybe, maybe not, as of now, so if you choose to have kids. Ah, okay, very good, all right. Then you, we showed, you showed one of the, of Nana, the Indian woman, oh. who seems to have uh, been influencing him since he was very little. Has she been around him since he had that accident? Can't her, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's where she kind of got in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where was she attached to? Also around his head. His head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I figured. She, 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 being around him gave her that, that sense of that love mm-hmm. that she had for her husband. Mm-hmm. She would talk to him. She would talk through Alex. Mm-hmm. It, it would be during the day or nighttime, whatever times. Mm-hmm. Alex by himself. And she would talk through him. What would she say? That he can, she would encourage him. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, I think it's a little bit confusing. Maybe she didn't know. I don't think she knew that she was holding her back. Mm-hmm. But she was encouraging him to do more. But at the same time. At the same time he was being held back. I don't think she, she knew that she was holding him back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That she really cared about him. She, she wasn't trying to hurt him. Okay. Good. But we, she's gone now. Yeah. Is, um, he wants to know about his direction in life, what he should be doing. What can you tell him about that? Try. You just have to keep trying. Keep trying? In life. Mm-hmm. That's not always going to be easy. Mm-hmm. All he has to do is try. Just try. Is, has he been not trying? It's here and there. Mm-hmm. He, the, conf- the, the confidence, I think, to do more, it sleeps within him. Mm-hmm. It, it doesn't always have a chance. It only comes out kind of when he's excited and he, he actually puts forth the effort to do something. Mm-hmm. Can I ask on his behalf to work on that today, to yes. give him that that want, that desire to try even harder? Yes, mm-hmm. yeah, he has to. He doesn't try enough, he has to. Mm-hmm. See, his life, he has to do it. Mm-hmm. He has to do it. Well, he's he's tried to check out already. It's not his time. Mm-hmm. It, it's not his time, you know, he he's here. He can't escape. He has to live his life. Mm-hmm. He has to be. He has to live his life. He has to be happy. He just has to live it. Yeah. Well, he, he's been very kind of excited ever since he discovered all of this metaphysical stuff. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. He really loves this type of stuff. Who influenced him on this? He discovered it on his own. Mm-hmm. He he likes to think outside the box. So how can this help him in the future? What can he do with this information? He can make up beautiful stories. Beautiful stories? He likes to write. He likes to write. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He makes beautiful stories. He, when he writes, he lets his mind just flow. Mm-hmm. So beautiful. He does the most beautiful things. Mm-hmm. It's, he just doesn't write it down. He just put it on paper most of the time. So maybe we can get him to record his stories? That'd be a good thing. Record his voice and mm-hmm. can write it down. Mm-hmm. You know? Who should he be telling these stories to? It almost sounds like he should be around children talking yes, to Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Make children's stories. Talk to children's children. All the most purest thing on this earth. Mm-hmm. Next to animals, but... Animals don't can't speak people <laughs> language. Mm-hmm. So, children, children, just telling children these beautiful stories, expanding the children's imagination. Mm-hmm. You know, they can believe and think anything. Mm-hmm. They can create anything. So you would suggest maybe he have a career where he can do this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Making children's stories. Making maybe. children's stories. He has to work on his punctuation and his 
his his punctuation and his editing skills mm -hmm. when it comes to writing. Like he needs needs to refresh himself. Okay. So he knows how to puncture like his his words and how to like you know how to form sentences correctly and making it sound you know like how stories are meant to be. Right. So he needs to be tutored a little bit on that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think if he does that, he'll be all right. Great, great. You make beautiful stories. Wonderful. You know, we were talking before about uh, the fact that he got hit by a car yeah. when he was little. Yeah. And he wants to know in what ways he was affected. At the time, when he was younger, mm -hmm. Nana was around him. Mm -hmm. So always been around him. It's when that car accident happened, she looked at it as a way to get in. Mm. Yeah. Did she she create that accident? It just happened. Mm -hmm. Kids kids are clumsy. Mm -hmm. He he dashed in front of the road. He didn't mean to. He was he was just happy. He was going to the ice cream truck. Mm -hmm. But what? It was very strange. He wasn't hurt except for his brain. I know. No, no, protected him. Mm-hmm. It's just. The brain, the, the brain, that was a way for her to slip in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he may be thinking when he hears this that now that Nana is gone, he may not have protection. Does he no, have? No, he always has protection. Mm -hmm. Who's protecting him? His angels. His angels. Can you tell him a little bit about his angels? Archangel Michael. He took, Alex is taking the liking to him. He started calling on him a lot. Mm-hmm. Archangel Michael makes sure they take care of him. Very good. He's protected. He's he's good. Alice is good. Mm -hmm. Archangel Michael's always going to be there for him. Good. Can we get one of the archangels who is who can help him in a business sense to help him with his getting a good job? Gabriel. Gabriel. Gabriel can help him. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I ask on his behalf? If Archangel Gabriel can help him get a job and so that he can be independent, have his own apartment, his own car. Oh, yes. And so that he can start writing these beautiful stories and helping other people. I can imagine it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful stories, his own space, yes. Yeah, Gabriel will work on it and help him. Very good, very good. Is there anything that he needs to do on, on his own to get this started? Lose weight. Lose weight. Doors will open. Okay. Try more. Put towards more effort, and he will see that things will change for him. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, we had talked about his diet, <laughs> or his non-diet. <laughs> mm -hmm. What would you suggest? Eat a lot, a lot, a lot of vegetables. Mm -hmm. Eat a lot more vegetables and fruits. He likes eating fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. But he needs to eat more. That's mostly what he has to be eating. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a snack, I don't think so. But, you know, eating junk food here and there, but not a lot of it. Mm -hmm. It's bad for him. Mm -hmm. Really bad. It's a lot of toxins that he has to get out of his body. Mm -hmm. A lot of toxins. What should he be drinking? A lot of water. He drinks a lot of water as it is right now. Mm -hmm. But keep drinking water. Mostly, if you can replace sodas and juices with water that's a great idea mm -hmm. but i know that something like that will take a lot of discipline but mm -hmm. he can do it he likes he likes drinking water a lot mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it's cold or warm just drink get the water into your body okay can i ask on his behalf for someone to hit him upside the head when he isn't uh, doing what he needs to do oh yeah remind him mm-hmm we'll be here Okay. And I said, we'll tell him. Who would? Who will? We'll tell him. We'll, we'll, we'll tell make him. sure he'll come to him. He'll know. It's a sense like he'll know he can't do that. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Um, his friends that are in his life and his uh, family, mm -hmm. he wants to know if any of them were in his past lives. Mm. Or is he pretty new here? Kind of new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
the souls we've met in this life, people we've met in this life, are new too. Mm -hmm. But they like Alex though. So where are these souls coming from? Different places. Mm -hmm. You know, but it, these people make him happy. Mm -hmm. Are they part of his soul group? Ooh. No. No, they're from different places. They're familiar souls, but Alex didn't really get to know them this much until now. Okay. Yeah. So they're all from different places. Yeah, all different mm -hmm. places. Why did, um, is, is this lifetime one of his first human lifetimes? Yeah, it's his first. Wait, actually. It's his first one? Thinking about it. Uh, it might be a second. Mm hmm Yeah, his second lifetime. Where is he, where was he hanging out before? It was Nana. With with Nana. Yeah. That was that was his first life. Mm, okay. Yeah. As the husband. As the husband, but he has no memory of it. Okay. All right. Um, he's been reading Dolores Cannon's work about the three waves of volunteers. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to know if he's one of the volunteers. He is. He has to learn about life. Mm -hmm. Just live life and explore. <laughs> That's what he has to do. Discover new things. Mm -hmm. And new interests. Keep reading those books. They're brought in his life for a reason. Mm -hmm. Keep mm -hmm. reading them. It expands his imagination. Plus, it gives him new ideas for stories. Very good. Very good. Well, he says he feels stuck right now. Yeah. He's not making any progress. Yeah. I know. How can you encourage him? Just keep trying. A little bit at a time. Just keep trying. He's going to do good. He's okay. going to do good. He's going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. He's going to be wonderful. <laughs> He's going to be wonderful. Just wait. You'll probably hear, hear, hear from him again mm -hmm. after a couple, a couple of, after a month or so. Okay, good. And he's really, he's really going to change so much. Excellent. We had, um, we've been talking about the fact that he gets angry. It just comes yeah. out of nowhere. Where it's is that coming from? Nasty. Uh huh. Is that him, or is that something that's influencing? That's something else. Well, this is not like that. He's a good guy. Okay. So, what's influencing him? Can you go do a scan and see if there's any anything in his body that shouldn't be there? His body should be his negativity. Mm -hmm. He he has trouble controlling his thoughts sometimes. Mm -hmm. Where is that coming from? His head. His head. Is there something in his head? <gasps> He does it, he does, he, I don't know, it's, he doesn't hear voices or anything, he's not, not like that, it's just. Mm -hmm. Can I find out where that's coming from? Would you yeah. allow me to find out? Yeah, just get, take that away. Just. All right, so let me take my hand and let's bring that energy down. All those thoughts that are coming down. And you can express yourself now. Are you male or female energy? You're male. Mm hmm. What may I call you? Doesn't matter. Okay. So, how long have you been there in his head? A long time. A long time. Can you tell me what a long time is for you? It's about the same time as that car accident. Ah, so it's when he was little. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And how did you get into his head? I just want someone I can just mm -hmm. slip into. Slip into. What was going on in your life? What What kept you from going back home to the light? What happened to you? A lot of hate. I thought you had a lot of hate? Yep. Well, when I hear that, it seems that that person has a lot of anguish in them. What happened to you? What's your story? Just didn't like life. You didn't like life. No, I don't like being. I don't like being here. You don't want to be here. No. How old are you? Old. Like an old man. Somewhat. Mm hmm. How did you lose your life? I died. 
You died. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did someone kill you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that. Who killed you? I was in jail. You were in jail. Okay. And someone killed you in jail? Yeah, they didn't, they didn't, treat, us, they didn't treat us right. Mm-hmm. They treated us like animals. Like we didn't matter. How? What year was this? 1990. 1990? Yep. Mm-hmm. Where was it? What city? Where did you live? Was it this country? California. California. Okay. So, what did they call you in that lifetime when you were in jail? Did you have a nickname? Jerry. Richard? Jerry. Jerry. Okay. So, Jerry, you said you were full of anger and hate. Was it because you were in jail or was it your yes, whole life? Because I went to jail. Mm-hmm. What happened to you? How did you get into jail? Uh, uh, I don't want to talk about it. Well, that's the only way I can help you, and I want to help you here today. Because no one seems to have ever helped you, especially in jail. I hurt somebody. You hurt somebody. Did you hit him? Stabbed them. You stabbed them. Mm-hmm. Is this someone that you knew? It was a fight. Mm-hmm. I just lost it. I had to protect myself. Mm-hmm. And then they put you in jail? Yeah. And they treated you like an animal? Yeah. It's not right. And what? how did you lose your life in jail? I was killed. Mm-hmm. Another prisoner. Another prisoner. Was this a friend of yours? No. No? An enemy? I didn't even know. You didn't know him? It's just people killed each other for sometimes the same way for no reason. Mm-hmm. Because everybody did it for the same way. I feel anger and hate. Mm-hmm. You know? It hurts. It's not right. Mm-hmm. I got hurt. Other people got hurt. Yeah. And so you found this young boy, and what was the reason you wanted to be with him? I wanted another chance at life. Mm -hmm. I I, I just wanted another chance at life, Mm -hmm. you know? But Jerry, this wasn't your body. I know. This was his. I know. And this is a free will planet. I was proud of holding him back. Mm -hmm. You were holding him back too, huh? Yeah. Are you the one who caused him to get angry? When he shouldn't be? Sometimes, yeah. Mm-hmm. When people don't, you try to talk and people don't listen. Mm-hmm. And, and that used to happen to me too. Mm-hmm. So you got the outburst. Mm-hmm. Every now and then. Because he wasn't raised that way. No, he wasn't raised that way. His, mm-hmm. his mother raised him right. Mm-hmm. And his dad was, was his kind dad, to him yeah. too, wasn't he? His dad was okay. Mm-hmm. His dad really loved him. Yeah. So his there's no reason. Really love him so much. So Jerry, there's no reason why he should be angry. There's no reason. It's, that's not who he is as a person. Mm-hmm. He, he didn't. I, he didn't fight back in school that much. Mm-hmm. He was weak. And how did that make you feel? Made me mad. Mm-hmm. So I made him mad. Yeah. Give him a boost so people don't bully him. But I don't think I pushed hard enough. <laughs> Jerry, it's time that you pack things up. I know. And go go to the place where you need to go. Are you afraid to go to the light? No. It's, I'd like some help, but mm-hmm. I'm not scared. I don't All know right. if I heard about it. All right. Would you like me to help you today? Yes, please. We need to get that anger out of you because you can't go to the light with that yeah, I know. empty. Well, you can't go with that full suitcase of anger and hate. I'm packing up my things as we speak. Okay, I'm going to put my hand on your chest, Jerry. I want you to give me all that anger so I could send it up to the universe. We're going to empty you out and fill you with something else. Mm. Take all of that anger and hate out. Mm. There's no reason for you to hold on to that. Everyone makes mistakes. Yeah. And you made a mistake. 
and then someone else made a mistake and it doesn't make it right does it no, so it can you forgive that man that you that stabbed you yeah. that killed you mm -hmm. yeah this and, is a long time ago it doesn't matter now uh -huh. can you forgive yourself for hurting someone else can you yeah. forgive yourself for that yeah all right give it all to me and tell me when i have it all you have it all. All right, let me take that and send it to the universe. Now, Jerry, what would you like to fill that space with? Happiness. Let's put lots of happiness in there. Feel it coming in. and Let me touch your forehead and seal that in. What else would you like to fill it with? Love. Let's put lots of love. Lots of love. Big fire hose of love. Feel it coming in. Feel it filling you up. Take a breath in and feel it filling you up. All that love. All that love. And you're going to be feeling a lot more of it when you go back home. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Let's seal that in. And now that you're full of love, Jerry, I want you to start pulling out from all of his head, everywhere else that you reside, pull that out. And Alex, I want you to tell me what it looks like from inside. I'm imagining my brain, but... Mm-hmm. It's clear, like like a brain, but it's clear. There's no black strings or anything. Wonderful. All right, Jerry, are you ready to go? Oh, yeah, let's go. All right, so I'm going to cast my, my angels to come surround you so that you don't go by yourself. You need to feel that love from them. See them coming around and surrounding you. Feel that love. And I'm going to ask Archangel Michael now to take you by the hand. And Jerry, just go up through the crown of his head and have him accompany you back home to the divine all right, go into the light. Tell me when you get there, Jerry. Tell me what you feel. Peace. Very good. Very good. May the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. May I speak with the higher self again? Tell me how he is now. He's good. He's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you flood him with that beautiful light and seal him now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Putting most of it in his head. Very good. He needs that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very good. He's going to be all right. Very good. Very good. Um, would you do a scan on him, on a body scan, and see about his health now? I want you to check his body and tell me if there's anything else there that we need to take care of today mm. Mm. he just needs to lose weight but mm -hmm. if you can't just kill his body in general okay is that going to help with the diabetes that oh yeah once on? you do that he, he knows he has to has to get it together mm -hmm. once he does that Eat it healthy, more beautiful things will start happening for him in life. Mm -hmm. He would be set golden. Wonderful. Wonderful. Can you start working on him today, please? Oh, yeah, anytime, anytime. Yeah. And then as he sleeps, when he goes to sleep at night, yeah. if you can call in, I'd like to ask the archangels and his higher self to work on him at night when he's sleeping. Yeah, he's calling us. Mm -hmm. We'll always be there. Mm -hmm. Do you have any... Uh, suggestions for him besides the losing the weight when it comes to anything writing mm -hmm. take a class go go for it take a class learn he likes learning things mm -hmm. learn as much as you can learn more things out of story wise you know learn how to make create stories he he writes a lot even though it's not complete but he writes mm -hmm. just Look into story writing, not just sitting behind a computer. He has to go out and experience, socialize with people. That's the key thing. It makes him feel comfortable when he, when he's around people. At first, he feels nervous. Everybody feels a little bit nervous. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Once he's in a setting and he starts to enjoy himself and starts talking to other people, and that's going to bring more and more people into his life. Or friends, might meet somebody, mm -hmm. anything can happen. Possibilities are endless, infinite. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And does he have to stay around here? Because he says that it seems that m when he's in Miami, it holds him back. A little bit. Mm -hmm. But in time, he will see himself through. Mm -hmm. He won't. He doesn't have to settle here. He can settle. I mean, it wouldn't matter if he settled here or not. But he has the possibility to go anywhere he wants. You know? Yeah. But I think for a starter is just getting a job, working, getting his car, mm -hmm. and just getting an apartment. I think that's been a good start for him. And just learning how to, um, like he wants to be more independent. Mm -hmm. That's a good start. Unless he does that in his own place, he can do whatever he wants. He can decorate it wherever he wants. Mm -hmm. And once he's settled, he, he, if he wants to move again, he can do that. He has possibilities to move anywhere, you know? Yeah. And he has to know that he can go anywhere he wants to. Very good. And um, is there any other suggestion that you have for him as, or for anybody else? Just keep being a good person. Mm -hmm. He is a good person. He has a good heart. Has a really good heart, and he has to get out, meet more people, so he can express that compassion. You have for people, mm -hmm. love and compassion. I do have a question. What is it that you brought him here today? I felt like he had to come to you. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have to meet you. A lot of people need your help. You're, you're here to help people. That's your path in life. Mm -hmm. uh, he's waited a long time to see me. Oh yeah, he's pretty excited. <laughs> but you know, he's going to help a lot of people too. Mm -hmm. Teach them anything you can tell them. Give them as much advice as possible. Because mm -hmm. this young man is going to become something special one day. He just doesn't see it yet. He's still very young. Yeah, he's 24. He's still young. Mm -hmm. A few more years and he'll, he'll have it together, trust me. Very good. And will he be finding his twin flame then? Soon. Like I said, once he starts getting himself together, more doors will open, even love will start coming into his life. He's got to watch what he eats. Mm -hmm. The weight might be slug, slowing him, that's kind of slowing him down as well. Yes. Once he gets that weight, he has more energy. He can do whatever he wants. He probably won't even think about being home. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Um, before we go, can you seal his aura, please? Make sure we don't have any, any friends that want to hitchhike around here today. Mm. Oh, so many colors. Mm -hmm. Or aura so many colors. Yes. Is that a good thing? Yeah, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have different colors. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't take any negative, it's fine. But he's fine. All right. And check his chakras to make sure that they're all working the way they need to be working. Right. For right now, yes. It's just his diet is going to help. Okay. With his chakra, with all his chakras. Okay, good. In good. general. Very good. Very good. Is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't that you would like to tell him now? I think you hit the questions I need to ask. Maybe, okay. maybe some point in the future he'll get another regression. Very good. Very good. So are we complete today? Yeah, he's good. Very good. All right. So thank you very much. I really appreciate everything you've done no, for th him. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Without you, I couldn't. He, he had a hard time hearing me. So, <laughs> But you kind of made it clear and gave me a, a pathway to be able to communicate with him. Very good. Very good. So now he'll be able to communicate with you a lot easier. Yeah, just call him. Even if I don't respond back, I'm still listening. I can hear him. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. And I'd like to thank all of the other entities that we were speaking with. Thank you very much. Yes, no problem. Mm -hmm. So Alex, I want you to see yourself back in that beautiful place that you love so much. 
Go back to that beach. Envision yourself there. And I want you to put that cocoon of light around you again. And see that golden light bathing you. Feel it penetrating every cell of your body as it clears you and heals you, grounds you back into Mother Earth. And while you enjoy this beautiful sensation, I'm going to count from one to five, and with each number you'll be waking up more and more. And when I get to number five, you're going to open up your eyes, you're going to wake up and feel complete control of your mind and your body. Very happy about this experience. The happiest man in the universe. One, beginning to wake up now. Two, feeling peace and love. You'll remember everything you need to remember for your well-being. And everything you remember when you wake up will be relived with infinite love, understanding that this is part of the process. Three, tonight and each night when you go to sleep and put your head on the pillow, you'll sleep soundly and deeply until the next day, until your normal waking hour. And your dreams will be pleasant and they'll be healing as your archangels work on you. And each day you'll feel a sensation of happiness. Four, you feel light as a feather, feeling wonderful all over. You feel as if each cell, each nerve, each part of your being is being filled with love, energy, and vitality, knowing that every day as you think of this session, you'll get stronger and stronger. Your intuition will get a lot sharper and you'll be able to know exactly what you should be eating to be a healthy person. See yourself now as you slim down, being fit, getting stronger, getting happier. See your, the, the, your face melting away, showing your true beauty inside and out as you tell your beautiful stories. Five, wide awake now, wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Hmm. Oh, man. How, how was it? Good? I feel like I got some useful stuff out of it. You feel what? I feel like I got some useful information out of it. You got useful information. Yeah, it was great. Oh, mm, yeah. What do you think about the whole experience? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Your higher self was really good. Yeah. It's like, I feel like it was me talking, but at the same time, it wasn't me. Yeah, it was very, very wise. Yeah, it was like the, the words that I was saying were really wise and, mm-hmm. you know... You were articulating I'm, very well, too. Oh, yeah. Just grabbing stuff for the mm-hmm. good. So. Very good. Yeah. So how long do you feel that you were on this journey? Two hours? Uh, about an hour and a half. Okay. Pretty good. And yeah. so how does it feel to be hypnotized? I like it. I really recommend this to <laughs> other people. Yeah? Did it feel like you were making it up, or do you feel that... I feel like some parts I had to at some point because my mind, that logical part of my brain that mm-hmm. you mentioned, mm-hmm. was trying to interfere. I feel like I kind of had to make it up, but I feel like it was true. Yeah. 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 Well, I remember we were talking about that, that the part of your mind is going to feel like imagination, but yeah. who's making it up? Yeah. You it's know? like I had to kind of... Your higher self is the one who's guiding all of the mm-hmm. imagination anyway. Yeah, like, I'm imagining it, but at the same time, like, um, I feel like it was true. Like, I, I was, I feel like I was making it up, but it was true. It was a true story. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. I mean, yeah. you really felt the feelings in it, too, it seems. Yeah. Yeah. Try to connect. So. What do you think you got mostly out of this thing? What's the most significant part? Direction with the children's stories and stuff. I always mm-hmm. thought that I'll make. I come up with a lot of guy, a lot of ideas. I always thought before, like, oh, I should make stories and stuff. I'd be hard on myself when I don't write it down. I'm like, come on, I just write it down. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I have, like, my book, my room is filled with, like, a lot of, like, books to write in. And, yeah. Um, a lot of pencils and so I do it every now and then but I get distracted uh, well sometimes. you had Jerry in your head yeah that his story was pretty sad yeah it was and, and Nana so you're pretty a new soul who's been here hasn't been here that many times yeah yeah it's just so good it was a good experience it was a good experience huh? I really how did the selenite it. feel it felt good I just kept holding them I just oh, I just ah just holding it. I didn't let. I didn't let go. You didn't let go. No. Did it feel like your hands were part of the. 
they started to kind of through like the beginning part a little bit, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I could still tell I was still holding it. Oh. But you know, it, it, I guess you know when your hands just develop that warmth, and I just felt like okay, I just hold on to these. It yeah, felt, good, it felt good. Oh. Can I take these from you. So, oh, they're hot. Oh my god. Oh, Very man. hot. So let me uh, put this up. get out of the way. Bye. Let's see. All right. So here we are in Miami, Florida. We just had a session here with Alex. So Alex, what do you think? I liked it. I would really recommend this. So. And you, you, it took it took him a long time to get here. He had asked for this appointment months ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for many reasons, he didn't make it. And now he made it. Yeah. And it was worth it. It was worth it. Mhm. You get more clarity now. Yeah. If anybody's Planning on getting a past life regression, just do it. Don't question it. You're thinking about it for a reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now you know. You, mm-hmm. you, uh, did you have any doubt that you were going to be able to be hypnotized? Mm-hmm. It's not doubt, it's just falling into it. Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So if you want a session with me, uh, just go to albawyman.com and do what Alex did. Just sign up and we'll be seeing each other soon. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.